Dean Leggy wrapping up Georgia's 66-27 explosion over UMass. Uh, obviously a big win for Georgia as it relates to the final score, 66-27. They, they did not cover. They narrowly did not cover, I think, if, if my math is correct. Uh, these guys are playing pretty well. Um, I know some of this stuff is not really reality, but they did, they did wind up with 700 yards of offense, which is hard to do. Uh, Justin ends his night with as the leading rusher and passer, 102 yards. Boy, just a really long run, that long one. And then the uh, 121 yards for Justin uh, with a long of 57. It is Thanksgiving week at um, in Athens, and um, there is no school this coming week. Uh, you get to deal with. Um, you know, getting ready for Georgia Tech, which is which is not a simple or easy thing to do. Uh, Kirby talked about that a little bit tonight, but I would have a lot of confidence right now if I were Georgia and Georgia fans. I mean, they are scoring really at breakneck speed. I, did they really score on every offensive possession, or did they did they punt at all? So I, I'm looking for punts. They did not punt. Well. That's not going to happen next week. But um, the only the only bad thing was Miko making just sort of a I mean not not Miko uh, 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 Terry making sort of a bonehead play there, which which gave UMass seven points. This if my now this is going off memory. This is the only the second time this year that Georgia's allowed twenty points or more. Uh, the other time coming to Missouri. So uh, that's off the top of my head. That may or may not be completely true. But um, yeah, I mean these guys are playing well. They're playing well at the time that you want to play well. Um, and people, oh yeah, LSU. So three times this season they have they have allowed thirty points or more, but it's not it's not been a lot. And um, you know tonight, uh, let me see how many times UMass scored in the second half. That's when they. I mean, obviously that's when they got over. They scored. I uh, only scored twice in the second half, but it was enough. And and. Um, Again, though, they're, they're playing well right now. You, you want to play well, and they are. And um, it's, it's, it's one of those, I mean, you kind of dismiss what happened with Alabama tonight just because of the, the, the group they were playing. Um, but Georgia's surging, and, and that quarterfinal uh, in, in Atlanta is going to be a big deal, no, no question. I mean, only two penalties from Georgia tonight, that's, that was a major step in the you know, right direction. They had way too many penalties last week. And then obviously 700 yards. So, I don't know. I mean, no no one cares about the result of UMass unless you lose. But the way they played is really important. That's, that's something that's really critical um, in sports is how are you playing? How are you? Are you playing well? Or are you not playing well? Jake Fromm told me tonight that they felt like they were becoming dangerous. Uh, well, they are. And, I mean, Jake hardly played tonight. He was 5 of 506 yards uh, with a touchdown. That is Jake Fromm football. I mean, you, know, you probably mix in five more throws, and that would be a perfect Jake Fromm night. So, yeah, I mean, I think Georgia Tech has got to be taken completely seriously. It's a game that um, – will be challenging. It's a game Georgia could lose for sure because of the way that Tech plays. And they are playing a lot better than they did in the in the recent past. So you got to take them completely seriously. You know, just because you're whipping everybody else's ass doesn't mean you're going to whip theirs. Uh, it could be tight. It could. There's a million things that could happen. And just the way that they are playing Tech, the improvement that they've made, probably doesn't match the improvement Georgia's had since October. Uh, and the other, the other concern is you're playing a lot of guys on defense, with the exception of you know like Ledbetter, who who have who have not played against Tech a lot. I mean, Natrez has, Jonathan has, but you know Jordan Davis hasn't played against Tech at all, and he's going to be getting the brunt of that most of the week. So you're going to have to rotate guys defensively. It's an important game. Obviously, you lose the game, and your season has become a disaster. But they're ten and one right now, and uh, it's you know, they're playing well for sure. And they continue to run and run and run. I mean, 426 yards rushing—that's crazy. It's quite a quite a night for Georgia. They really did play well, and you got you know Elijah and Miko walking by. They, they're playmakers, man. They're making a lot of plays. All right, we're gonna wrap this up here pretty quick. This Georgia team is surging right when you want to, uh, but you're gonna have to surge past Georgia Tech. Better watch it.
All right, Dean Leggy wrapping up from Sanford. Uh, we'll see you next week at noon.